Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to make these cute pillows made out of tote bags. Alright, so what you'll need is uh, some tote bags. I got mine at Michael's. Hot glue, fabric paint, blah, fabric paint, stuffing, and scissors. That's right, you don't need any sewing supplies because you won't need that. Alright, so this is what the tote bag looks like before you start doing anything to it. And um, mine has these like kind of weird curved edges at the bottom. But anyway, so the first thing you would do is cut off the handles. And because you won't need those, I mean, unless you want a pillow with handles, that's all right. And then you're gonna, like, if your tote bag doesn't have these, that's fine. But if it does, then you're gonna take out these, like, the edges at the bottom. And mine wouldn't just pull off, so I had to make a little incision and then pull it off after. Like, as I'm doing in the video. Then I cleaned up the edges with scissors and did so on the other side. This does make holes in your bag, but I'll show you how to get rid of that later. So before I began painting on my tote bag, I inserted a page inside of the bag because I didn't want any paint to bleed onto the other side of my pillow. And I did um, paint my own pictures. Or, okay, for the elephant, I found a picture online and copied it. For the feathers, if you saw that in the beginning of the video, I used my own imagination. If you do not have artistic ability, which some of you might not, or you might think you don't, then you can always find some iron-on images or you can find paper at Michael's and you can print out things and iron it on as well. Or you could use stencils because that works great too. I did add these stupid flowers and then I didn't like them and changed them back. So I don't know if you're, yeah. Alright, so once you finish painting and it dries, or once you finish ironing on your image, whatever, you're gonna open your stuffing. And miraculously, the amount of stuffing I got in one container fit exactly into one tote bag. So that's great. For each pillow, I needed only one amount, of, like one bag of stuffing. And I stuffed the whole thing in. I know it looks big, but once you get it in, it fits perfectly. So here you can see me struggling just a little bit. And then you're gonna uh, make sure you push all the stuffing into the corners because you don't want um, deflated corners. So once you warm up your um, hot glue, you can start moving on. And the first thing you're gonna do is fold over and hot glue the edges on the open side of the tote bag. Depending on the tote bag, this may not be a necessary step, but my tote bag did look a little weird because it had like an extra, um, what is it, like, seam on the out, on the open edge of it, so I did have to, you know, glue it all in and make it look nice and clean. Alright, so now, close your pillow shut. Oh yeah, in case you guys didn't realize by now, this is a type of pillow that you will not be able to, you know, just take out and wash. It's kind of permanent. Yeah. Finally, um, remember when we ripped up the edges to make it look, you know, appealing? Now you have to go back and also hot glue it, but make sure you also fold over the little edges to make, um, to make it look very pleasant and, you know, not randomly like sticking out there then clean it up with some scissors and you are done so here are the finished products i'm actually very 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 happy with this project it's one of my favorites it looks very professional and a very nice way to decorate your room please leave comments requests or questions below and i will see you in my next videos bye guys <laughs>